Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the nth term in binomial expansion using the binomial theorem. So for any positive integer n, the quantity of x plus y raised to n is equal to the summation of the number of combinations of n taken k times x raised to n minus k times y raised to k. So, this formula guys, ito yung ating concept of combinations. Tama? So, that is equal to the n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo makita kung paano ba natin uh, ginagamit yung combinations, pwede nyo panoorin yung ating previous video. Okay? So, where n is the exponent ng ating binomial, then 0 represents our first term. Okay? Then, dito naman, yung x natin dito, guys, ito yung ating uh, first term, and yung y naman, ito yung ating given last term. Okay? So, let's have an example. So, without expanding completely, compute the indicated term in the expansion of the given expression. Number 1, the quantity of x plus y raised to 15, then we are asked to find the fourth term. Okay? First, identify muna natin yung ating mga given. So, n is equal to our exponent, which is 15. Then, yung k naman natin, so, since k represents, uh, 0 represents the first term, ibig sabihin, yung 1 represents our second term, 2 for third term, then 3 for fourth term. So, meaning, ang k natin dito, guys, is equals to positive 3. Okay? So, using the formula, pwede na nating mahanap yung ating fourth term, where n is equal to 15, so that is the number of combinations of 15 taken 3 times the first term, which is x, raised to n minus k, so that is 15 minus 3 times the second term, which is y, raised to k, so which is equal to positive 3. Tama? So ngayon, kunin natin yung uh, value ng ating combination. So, by applying the formula, that is equals to n factorial divided by k factorial times the quantity of n minus k factorial. Okay? So, ang n factorial natin dito, we have 15 factorial divided by k factorial. So, ang k natin is 3 factorial times the quantity of n minus k, which is 15 minus 3 factorial. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. So, this is 15 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Then, 15 minus 3, this is 12 factorial. Okay? So, kung meron kayong scientific calculator, guys, pwede nyo nang masolve yung ating expression. Okay, then kung wala naman kayong scientific calculator, pwede pa natin yan mas masimplify. Okay? So, 15 factorial is the same lang yan guys ni 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial. Okay? So, nag-stop tayo kay 12 factorial since meron tayong 12 factorial doon sa denominator, pwede na natin yan makancel. Tama? Then, yung 3 factorial, guys, dito sa kabila, that is equals to 3 times 2 times 1 times 12 factorial. Okay? So, kung isasolve natin to 15 times 14 times 13, that is equals to 2,730 divided by 3 times 2 times 1, this is 6. So, pag dinivide natin to guys, this is equals to 455. 
Okay? So, ibig sabihin, the number of combinations of 15 taken 3 is equals to 455. Then, we have x raised to 15 minus 3, that is 12. Then, y cubed. So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung ating fourth term ng ating uh, binomial. Okay, so dito, kung mapansin nyo, nakuha natin yung fourth term without expanding our x plus y raised to 15. Okay, so yun yung pinaka primary function ng ating binomial theorem. So, let's have another example, number 2. We have x minus 3y raised to 20. Then, we are asked to find the 8th term. Okay, so applying the same formula. So, ang n natin is equals to 20, yung ating exponent. Then, ang k natin, so since 8th term ang pinapahanap, ang k natin is equals to 7. Okay, so parang magma-minus 1 lang tayo. So, pwede na natin ngayon gamitin yung ating formula. So, 8th term is equals to the number of combinations of 20 taken 7. Okay? Times our first term. So, ang first term natin is x raised to n minus k. So, that is 20 minus 7 times dun sa ating last term which is negative 3y. Okay? Then, raised to k. So, ang k natin is 7. So, simplify natin to guys. First, kunin natin yung value ng ating combination. So, that is equals to 20 factorial divided by k factorial, which is 7, times the quantity of n minus k. So, that is 20 minus 7 factorial. Okay? So, 20 factorial divided by 7 factorial, then 20 minus 7, so that is 13 factorial. So, using your calculator, pwede na natin isolve yan. So, this equals to 77,520. Okay? So, meaning, ang value ng ating combination is 77,000. 520, then x raised to 13. So, dito naman, we have negative 3 raised to 7. So, that is equals to negative, ta negative 2,187 y raised to 7. Okay? So, pag binultiply natin to guys, this equals to Negative 169,536,000 240 x raised to 13 y raised to 7. Okay? Nasandan ba guys kung paano natin kinuha yung 8th term? So, let's have another example. The quantity of 2x minus 3 raised to 10, then we are asked to find the third term. Okay? So, in this case, ang n natin is equals to 10. Then, ang k natin, since third term, ang pinapahanap, minus 1. So, ang k natin is equals to 2. Nakuha? So, applying the formula, so, third term is equals to the number of combinations of 10 taken 2 times the first term. So, ang first term natin dito is 2x raised to n minus k. So, that is 10 minus 2 times the second term which is negative 3 raised to k which is 2. Okay? So, solve natin yung combinations. So, that is equals to n factorial, so 10 factorial over k factorial, which is 2 factorial, 
times the quantity of n minus k. So, 10 minus 2 factorial. So, 10 factorial divided by 2 factorial. 10 minus 2, this is 8 factorial. Okay? So, using our uh, calculator, this equals to 45. Okay? So, pwede na natin yung gamitin dito sa ating uh, equation. So, 45 times 2x which is 2 raised to 8. Diba? So, ang 2 raised to 8 natin, that is equals to 256. Then, x raised to 8. Okay? Then, negative 3 squared, this is equals to 9. So, 45 times 256 times 9. This is equals to 103,000. 680 then x raised to 8 nakuha guys so this is the end of our video I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano gamitin yung ating binomial theorem in finding the n term ng ating uh, binomial expansion ok so if you have questions or clarifications Kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!